someone came to me and said I'm moving to Canada your movement to Canada will constitute a snare <laughs> if, it's, if your movement is based on human wisdom because the things that God wants to build in your life are domiciled in the place that he has kept you. For instance, if you are in ministry and you are in the city of Makodi and you have not learned prayer, uh, you have not understood why you are in the place. My wife had to become a prayer warrior. Because when I go for crusades to minister and I'm casting out devils, they will come to the house. I married the daughter of a professor. She was the only child for 15 years. So she had a room from when she was little. You know, that kind of life. And when she came to the place, the tone of warfare changed. <laughs> May the Lord open your eyes to see that your examinations, your tests, your challenges are domiciled in your place. If you elope to Canada without God's approval, you have joined the devil to attack your destiny. It means you, the devil is your tag team partner. You, you shook him and say, let's go on a ride. May not become so wise it became obvious that the only way to survive was prayer she now began to go the way of dry fasting in order to add spices to the prayer to make it more effective that's how she built her muscles Satan was on rampage hmm we prayed not to connect God. We prayed to survive. You don't understand what that we All of it is built into the place. Can we pray tonight and say, Lord, do not allow us to trivialize the lessons that we are supposed to learn in the place. In the place. In the place. The family that you came from is a place. The witchcraft that is domiciled in that place is supposed to be a motivation for a kind of consecration, a kind of life, a kind of response. The place. The place. Covinai Tobi Malekabo. The place. The place. The place. In the name of Jesus. You never ask to be born in the family that you were born. And you notice that ladies in that family don't get married. So it's already a wake up call in the place. If you had the opportunity to make a choice, you want to be born into a family in California. I know that. But God did not. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. He puts you in that place. You are supposed to be awake to the realities of that place. In view of the fact that you were not given an opportunity to choose, it means you were supposed to understand the warfare there. It's supposed to prepare you for something. And in the family into which I was born, if you arrive at the age of 21, Satan will send you a text message an email a whatsapp message are you are you there 
he can send you the, a whatsapp message of schizophrenia a whatsapp message of sicknesses that cannot be diagnosed so when i saw that the pattern was consistent before i became 21 i learned how to pray in tongues are you there and i prospered in the way of tongues until i found the way to speak tongues in capital letters huh. <laughs> and i was on the university campus when i turned 21 without my knowledge those days we used to do this prayer from 12 midnight to 1 a.m so i was 10 minutes late i was already 21 but i didn't know it was the kingdom of darkness that knew that I arrived 21 before myself. Ten minutes late to the prayer. And you know how a campus walkway looks like. It's never empty. People are going up and down. But that day I was alone. And an all appeared attempting to sit on my head. You know an all? Where's brother Luke from Scotland? Luke. Where are you? Do you know an all? Okay, you do. Okay. And all attempted to sit on my head. That was when I discovered what, what was the cause of the mental health challenges in my family. Guess what? I know you don't believe this, but I will tell you. It's not a movie. This is, it happened to me. This is my story. So I wanted to attack the owl in the strength of the flesh. The thing just, he moved back. He didn't fly back, he moved. Eh? <laughs> then I began to speak in tongues. As if he wanted to change, as if he wanted to change into something else. So I, I closed my eyes in order for me not to see what would make me fear. So I closed my eyes and spoke tongues in capital letters. Amomo <laughs> yakwa. You know when when the tongues are no longer like a song when it is like a weapon after 15 minutes i opened my eyes and one of the wings were broken so i said the thing is working the other people arrived the prayer room before myself because they were not in my place they were not from my family. So they had liberty to, to be in the prayer room early. Me, people from my family, they, they had to cut. <laughs> that was my first major victory. I didn't kill it, Iran. But three days later, the man that had been troubling my family died in the village. I didn't kill a man. I was just speaking tongues in capital letters. But I don't know how the tongue was interpreted in the spirit and diverted. The energy of it was diverted to the village. Your place, the shape of your place is designed to make, if you survive that place, then you become the kind of man that God intended you to be. Are you following now, in the case of Abraham, there was no way he could survive but by faith. So he had to become a man of faith in order for him to prevail. Your place is a mold that is designed to make you a certain kind of man. I knew that my life and ministry, therefore, will be wired by warfare. Having this thing of the introduction that was built into my place you will become like the place that God has placed you can we pray finally there is something God had in mind for which he allowed you to come to that family may God realize it in your life in the name of Jesus Christ There is something God is anticipating 
that will break out of your life the moment you understand the lesson that is built into that location you can find the grace that will make you mount up with wings like the eagle oh my god somebody needs to pray that prayer right away let me find the grace that is required to mount up beyond the limitations of my play